Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to the Resident Evil. We are making some pretty good progress. Barry's given us some acid rounds, which we can't use until we have the grenade launcher. When I first played the first Resident Evil, I thought they were like grenades you could throw. And I was so eager to try them out, I immediately went out to find a zombie to use them against, and I died. I was about 12, 13, so yeah, I was a massive idiot. But no matter. It was all a learning curve and it was a lesson a lesson well learned. If you get grenade rounds, find a grenade launcher. Don't know why my voice went all squeaky. It is what it is. Are you on this side? No, you're on the other side. Stay there, please. You're not cool enough to be on this side of the hall. Alright. Let's go take out some doggos. the collar please Jill. Right and as these are here we might as well use them. And because I don't like locked doors. There, sorted. I mean, let's get this out now. You probably don't need the dog whistle anymore. Discard it? Yes. I imagine using it will be more of a hindrance than a than helpful to be honest. Ah uh, yes. Come on. Up you come. taken care of yes and I believe there's another one yep come on come on get your bony ass up I know you're not dead Jill has let me know by immediately pointing back towards you there we go You're good now, boy. Yeah, let's go grab this key. Nope. Not today, son. Heads. 
Yes, I will take the key. Well, I don't know about you, but I found that terrifying. Armour key. Yes, we've already done that. Don't need to do it again. Now, if a Spencer was smart, he probably would have had multiple architects working on the mansion instead of just the one. Oh, what was it? I can't remember if it was a film or a game or so where some nut job hired multiple uh, architects to build something but after like so long he'd kill one of them off and then hire someone else <laughs> nicely done Jill I can't remember where I saw it was but it was like a fiendishly clever plot like in but at the same time, it would raise suspicion, like, why were so many people dying on this project? For the life of me, I cannot, cannot remember what it was. Um, I didn't need to come in here. Or did I? Yes, actually, because I want to burn up the, I want to burn up the Zambos. Keep this area clear. Okay, lighter and you. So much easier having a lockpick rather than having to find small keys. Ooh, battery for the taser. Yes, thank you. Got the broken shotgun there. And we've got increments. I'll come back for the shotgun. This time I will have all rooms green. <laughs> Burn these top two ones. Just get that out of the way. Good. That's them taken care of. Drop off the ink ribbons at least, and then I can grab the shotgun. And then burn this final dude. I think I said in the Chris playthrough, it's not necessary to burn this last one. I just like doing it. Yeah, that's not what I'm interested in, Jill. I want the broken shotgun. Excellent. Burn, baby, burn. Hopefully I don't get copyright claimed for that. Alright. Right, 
I'll have to rearrange all this lot eventually. But for now, I think we're fine. Same as before, before I run down there, let's clear this area. We need to burn those two zombos as they come through, so this area remains zombino free. These two don't matter. Poor guy's descent into madness. Boo! Excuse me. Do you two come out though? I might kill you both just to make sure. Yeah, there we go. Because sometimes they, 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 these zombies can follow you, but it's limited. It's not like in Resident Evil 2 remake. I'll make sure just want to make sure they're both dead so they don't break out. Okay. Make sure that's unlocked. Right. Go sort this out, grab as many of these herbs as I can, go back, grab the canteen and lighter, burn those gits. Everything is going pretty much according to plan. I don't know if it's possible to get killed by those vines, I've never tried. Two more herbs, so I should be okay. Collecting all of these. Yeah, plenty of room. We're good. Hey boys. Damn it. Why couldn't you two fall on top of each other? <sighs> There should be some more kerosene in there that I can still use before it runs out, so it should be fine. 
But it's not what I wanted. Why are you zombos so selfish? Alright. Herbs up here. Oh, masky boy. Here. God, there's a lot of lorries and tractors going by. Wish I could soundproof this room better, but it's rented property, so I can't. Good. That's them taken care of. How about this area. Right. This area is good. Ah, oh, thank you. I was worried your head wasn't going to pop. Okay, I think we're good. Yep. Barry's at you. Hey kid, we know who this is. What do you keep tripping over, Jill? Right, I'm gonna leave you to wander around here, mate. Gotta be somewhat conservative with my ammo. I, mean, I think the whole really the whole point of the Resident Evil game is not to go around killing everything. But I like killing everything. Gonna make sure the area is safe. I'm an officer of the law. Alright. Blue gem. Head back to the tiger. Almost missed it. God, I'm really absent minded today. Oh well. Might make for a vaguely interesting video. Who knows? Shotty shells! Thank you, my blue eyed friend.
Back this way, so we can drop some stuff off. minutes before to, I can end this episode so let's see what else we can get done in the meantime no oh, no I'll go around this way Head back upstairs, open up some doors. A lot of this playthroughs might be almost identical to the Chris playthrough, but the story will be slightly different. Ah, oh yes, let's actually let's go in here first while it's fresh in my memory. You probably notice my play style is not all that different from when I play as Chris either. I pretty much follow the exact same route. It's just the way I do things. Once I've figured out something that works for me, I, I tend to stick to it. There's our boy Forrest. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Yeah. That's, I, this is what I would like. Thank you. Grenade launcher. Yeah, I've got to deal with Forrest again. Why did you not use your knife, your dagger, Jill? Can you not use it on Forest? I can't remember. I like to stay on fine, so we'll take one of those. Right, are we done out here? Yes. Damn you, Forest. I'm sure you were a nice guy in life, but in death you were not very nice to me. I do not appreciate it. And I will not be attending your funeral. I will, however, be the result of your cremation. go in there just yet. Uh, yeah, while we're here. Oh god, what was it? Top right, bottom left, bottom right?
Yes. I remembered a thing. God, once upon a time, I had these puzzles committed to memory. Okay. Oh. Oh, damn it, no. Right, I'm going to click that one. And then that one. Yay! We have a mask. Isn't that exciting, ladies and gentlemen? Be happy for me, I found a death mask. Let's go in here. Quickly and get. Ah, uh, shit. Well, I'm not going to get the puzzle done, but we might be able to see. If I've done this right, Barry should be in here. Mate Bazza. There he is. Ah. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, <laughs> you should read this. Phrasing, Jill. Researchers will. I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. Hmm. What happened to it, Barry? Hmm? Right, I don't have enough room to do this puzzle, so we'll come back to it. Clear out that other room at the same time. Ooh, we have a note. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. Cheers, Bazza. You're a good egg. Ooh, lots of goodies. And flame rounds, too. Barry, you spoil me. Well, I'm going to have to move each of these down, because there's another shotgun to add in later. So, put you there. Oh no, hold on. Damn it, I already had it placed. Oh no, I know what it was. Magnum. Need room for the Magnum, that's what it was. See, I know what I'm doing. Don't panic everyone. Everything is as it should be. So this is why it's um, easier to play as Jill than Chris, because Barry gives you a lot more shit. So you get a lot more ammo. And like uh, like with Claire versus Leon, you get the grenade launcher. 
the only difference is both Claire and Chris get access to the Magnum in this game. Uh, Jill and Chris, rather. Whereas Claire doesn't really get a Magnum, which is a shame, because overall, I prefer the Magnum. But for now, you know what time it is. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.